Hey guys, Abby here. How are you guys doing today? Um, today I am bringing you guys a story um, that someone had wrote in to me, a lady, um, asking for some advice and an opinion. Um, she said that her and her husband are into the hot wife cuckold scene and she feels like she's starting to um, to use her terminology, catch feelings for her bull. And she wanted to know what to do about it. Um, so we're gonna give her a little advice. Um, I have a little bit of personal experience with this. Um, so I will share that later on in the video. Um, ladies, if any of you have had this situation, um, let me know how you guys handled it. Send me an email at how.abby at gmail.com um, if you didn't write that down it is on our on my about page um, you can find my email address to send any emails to um, and we will get in to our story I might give a flick So, it says, hello, Abby. I wanted to share with you about a bull I met on the Tinder app. It happened while my husband and I were on a beach vacation last year. We rented an adorable house that's close to the shore. As soon as we got settled, we opened Tinder to see who was around. I quickly matched with a gorgeous black king who lived in town and owned a coffee house. We set up a public meetup and there was instant chemistry. The next afternoon, the bull came to our rental and we had sex while my husband fixed afternoon tea. This man stole my heart and blew my mind at the same time. We hooked up several more times throughout our stay. One of those times my husband got to watch and another time it was at the bull's place where I also had tango with one of his friends. We've kept in touch with the bull and traveled to the same place between Thanksgiving and Christmas to see him more. Now the bull is inviting me to visit by myself this spring. My husband and I are still very solid in our marriage, but I noticed I'm catching feelings for the bull. I'm actually not even hooking up with anyone else. My husband is such a confident cuck, so he's not threatened. I would love some thoughts and opinions. Okay. So I have to say, it sounds like you definitely have met quite the gem in the realm of bull, finding a bull. Um, however, you know, my inquisitive self has some questions for you, um, as well as suggestions and some things you may want to consider. Um, I had looked up some, a few different articles about women who have caught feelings for their bulls um so yeah i'm gonna share them with you here um but first some of the questions um one of them being you know is taking the i think you need to take the time to sit back and think about what it is you're feeling actually for this bull is it lust is it a fondness um, like they're near and dear to your heart sort of fondness sort of thing. Um, are the feelings more sexual in nature? Um, or are they deeper as in a loving sort of way? Um, you need to sort that out with yourself. Um, I would also 
suggest evaluating your own feelings for your husband and your marriage. Um, not saying that, you know, you need to end anything, but you kind of need to put it in perspective to see how you feel and where he fits into your lives and how, um, where he stands sort of thing, not your husband, but the bull. Um, you know, so you kind of got to work that all out within your, yourself. Um, Uh, I also have to ask, you know, is this more a polyamorous type relationship that you're looking for um, or wanting to explore? Um, you know, once you've figured all, sorted that all out for yourself, um, as I always suggest and recommend having an open and honest conversation with your husband, um, letting him know what's going on with you and what you're feeling and kind of discuss the direction you will both like to go from there. Um, you know, be it a polyamorous type relationship or, you know, maintain the cuck and bull thing. Um, you know, that's something for you both to decide and both to come into agreement with. Um, and I say that especially because if it's becoming more than just a sexual attraction, you know, you want to keep your husband abreast of the situation because you don't want to cause any conflict or issues in your marriage, um, you know, keeping something from him, you know. And if it's a fondness type thing um, that you're feeling for your bull, like he's your favorite or you've connected the closest with, um, you know, and that may just be all the further that it goes. Um, and I can appreciate that. Um, there have been times where I've, or a couple gentlemen over the years that I have um, grown quite fond of, um, or, and were my favorite, so to speak. Um, my hubby too is very confident and secure man. Um, he knows that I'm not going there, um, going anywhere, I should say. And he doesn't feel threatened in any way. And, um, you know, if he's just, if he, he may like that thing. He may like you having feelings for this bull. Um, you know, that's kind of a means of compersion, I guess, is what it's called. Um, so, yeah, you know, you want to kind of see how he's feeling about this, too. Um, you know, and also discuss with him, you know, what does your husband feel or think about you traveling to see this guy and staying with him for an extended period without your husband being there? You know, um, how often do you think that this is going to happen or you, you may want this to happen? Um, those are all things to consider as well. I mean, you most definitely don't want to start doing these things without your husband, you know, without full disclosure to your husband because, you know, being in a cuckold situation like that where you're married um, does take a great immense deal of trust, a large amount of trust, um, both ways. Um, so, you know, and you definitely don't want to break down that trust or lose that trust because you made the wrong move and you weren't honest. Um, 
you know, I would recommend that once you and your husband sort things out um, and are on the same page about how you want to proceed with that, um, you know, discuss it with your bull and find out if he's on board. It sounds like he may be, um, or if he's, what his intentions are, you know, if he's looking for something else or something more. Um, definitely want to find that out too because um, that could sway your decision as to whether or not you go there and spend this time with him and or um, you know or don't and I would also try to clarify with your bull you had mentioned um, not getting or when you went to your bull's place um, you did the tango with him and a friend of his you know so when you're going down to visit him and or stay with him for an extended period of time and you're going by yourself is this going to be an expectation for you or, or of you I should say um, you want to find that out too because you want you want to know what to expect you don't want to get down there and find out oh this isn't exactly you know the arrangement we had and what I was looking for and now you're doing these things and you're you know engaged in this and your husband doesn't know or you know you've spent time and money to travel there and now you're turning around and going back home because there were different expectations. So definitely keeping things out in the open um, and making sure that everybody's on board. And really, I think once you, the three, you know, you've taken those steps to evaluate what you want, evaluate what you and your husband want as a couple, um, and then discuss with your bull once all um, three of you have that conversation you can get a better feel of what direction you'd like to take things next what you know uh, direction you like to go as things resolve or re evolve oh my gosh I need to wake up. Um, anyway, I know through my own personal experiences, I haven't really ever developed feelings for a bull um, other than like feelings of fondness, um, you know, and that they were my favorite and they became more of like a close friend with benefits sort of thing. Um, you know, for a few different reasons, you know, we've either connected on a personal level, um, and when I mean that, I mean like we connected on a personal level, like I could be friends without benefits with this person because we just click, our personalities click that well, um, sort of way, um, you know. I've also had feelings with bulls where I've just been, and we both have been just so physically attracted and connected to each other and, you know, they were my favorite, so to speak. Um, but I've never felt like I developed feelings of love in the way that I love my husband. Um, you know, I've kept the lines of communication open with my husband when it comes to all of this. And he has as well, letting me know how he feels and what it is he wants and desires out of that situation, um, you know, and what turns him on as well, because this is for his enjoyment as well as yours. Um, and I've always had open communication with hubby. Um, because and he keeps open communication with me we discuss it all the time you know 
all the time whenever a situation arises. Um, and again, I love my husband with all my heart and I have respect for him and for our marriage. And I would never personally do anything with a bull um, if my husband wasn't 100% on board with it. Um, no matter how I felt about that person or how much I wanted to, to you know, be with that person, um, I would never choose to do anything behind their backs. I would always keep it out in the open. And like I said earlier on, you know, my husband is quite a confident man as well. He's like not even an alpha male. He's a sigma male. You can look that up. Um, so he is quite secure and he doesn't get jealous at all either. Um, you know, and I would like to think that being honest with all these aspects of this dynamic contributes to him having that confidence and that security. So hopefully some, this helps, you know, helps you out in some way. Feel free to write back in and let us know how things go. Um, or if you have any other questions, um, you know, all of you viewers out there, leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new here, help our channel grow. Um, and that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I will see you guys real soon. Bye, everybody.